And we're back. So gringos, we uh, this is directed by Nash Egerton. He hasn't done anything, done this thing called the square, but it's not the other thing that you think of, the, the square. Yeah. And then these are all the people in the movie. So uh, we got like David Oyolowo, Charlie Stern, Joe Egerton, Amanda Seyfried, Bandy yeah. Newton, Charto Copley, a lot of people in this. So the people that wrote this, we have no idea what they did, or we never watch anything. Mm -hmm. um, I'm only strictly here because of the cast, yep. and also the trailer looks pretty fun, and it's freaking Charlie Theron, because mm -hmm. she's amazing. Yeah. Looks like a dark comedy humor thing. I could be wrong. I could be totally walking in this blind. I feel like I am walking in this blind. Me too. But basically it's about like some cartel stuff, yeah, and business, cartel. and all that stuff. I mean, this is a stellar class, so I'm probably... I don't know, I feel like the expectations, we'll we gotta manage those real expectations, cause... It's tough for the script to screw this up, so... Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's like, it's probably just the script. If it's gonna suck, it's gonna be the script. The yeah. acting's gonna be fine. The jokes, hopefully it's gonna be there. But overall, we are excited. So that's it, uh, this is before, and this is after. Improvising camera. This is good, we have a good little light going I on. Anyways. I like the white. So, uh... I enjoyed it. Uh, I think it's a very dumb story, but they know it's dumb, so they have really, really good fun with the material. It's not as funny as the trailer, so don't go in thinking you're gonna get that. It's a lot slower than the trailer, but seriously, everyone, almost everyone has really great performances. Mm -hmm. David Oyolowo, Charlize Theron, and uh, even Charto Copley. Yeah. And all right, we actually remember who the director is. He's actually the brother of Joe Egerton, so that's kind of neat. So that's uh, interesting stuff. But uh, yeah, like Charlie Stern just being super bitchy and super like yeah. hardcore. That's that's a great change from her Mad Max. So it's like it just shows, just reminds you of her range once again. Mm -hmm. And then Oyo Level. I mean, everything I've seen him in is pretty serious. Yeah, so, this is a funny one. This is a funny one. He he really has fun and it shows and it's just great stuff. Uh, Sh Charto Copley, I seriously swear I can totally picture him in like a Taken type of role. Like if he gets like bored of whatever he's doing, he can pull it off. Yeah. Because I mean that he cool did. Look and yeah, everything. the cool vibe. He can mercenary type. I mean he did that in Lysium sort of. But imagine. He also him did that in uh, in, in eighteen. Oh yeah. Well, okay. but he was kind of weird though. He was like, and then Hardcore Henry has him, but he's not in the film basically. Yeah. But seriously, like, yeah. Charto Copley doing a Taken, I'm down. Mm -hmm. um, we got what? Amanda Seyfried. Um, she's, she's not in it a whole not, lot, yeah. but then whenever she's in there, she does some good things, you know, I mean, to the plot. Like, like even the script-wise, yeah, to the plot overall. Uh, I mean, I mean, it's like, you can have replaced her with anybody. Um, basically, her entire arc with her boyfriend could have been replaced by anybody. Mm -hmm. But I think Amanda Seyfried just, just does it well because she's the sort of like, she has that face where it's just, just like, the baby face yeah, the baby Bobby face. face. So, so it sells well in terms yeah. of just like she's trying to be innocent I mean she is innocent and then you just got a jerk boyfriend but I think that was the, the thing for me the the casting for the boyfriend I feel like someone anyone else could have done it I mean he freaking Adam Driver could pull it off like you were saying Def definitely. It, I just felt like he was lacking he was he had a lot of screen time and he didn't have presence I mean he couldn't even pull off a good sort of like irresponsible type it, was, it just felt like he was acting yeah. And then it, 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 it foiled really awkwardly with everyone else because you have everyone else doing their great job. Yeah. And this guy just doing like, uh, he's not even phoning it kind in. Kind of like just, a sore thumb. Yeah, it's, a, it's just like, like yeah, because like casting him makes him look obviously, you know, lower mm -hmm. on the ladder of performance. Mm -hmm. and, um, but at the same time, if you recast everyone else, it's not like he's going to be a standout performance either. So... Just, yeah, I think I really enjoyed the layering of the story. Yeah. Um, just a lot of coincidences, and it's just and it just works, because it's like a lot of situational humor, and that was good stuff. It's a movie movie that you yeah. will enjoy. I, I really enjoyed a lot of, like, set up, like, the Beatles stuff, and then later on it comes back. I really like how they revisit tropes mm -hmm. and just jokes. And, yeah. and uh, yeah, pretty good job for the writing. I mean, is to, to have this kind of script and to get this cast. Oh yeah, this is an Amazon Studios thing. Mm -hmm. So if you can't make it to the theater, this will probably show up in a month or two for your subscription. But um, if you can't catch it, I think it's a good... It's it's Is it good it's enough for theater? I it's think? a good popcorn movie. Popcorn. Just don't think too much. Yeah. And you'll enjoy just the performances. I mean, go in looking for performance, you got it. I mean, uh, I think Joe Egerton maybe weaker link. Type. Really? Yeah. Well, he was not in it a lot, so... Yeah, I feel like he wasn't... He just 
just didn't have much to do beside being like uh, reluctant to do anything. Being a douche. Yeah, being a douche and just like, yeah, he. I don't know. Like, like I think he's also in the in the realm of the boyfriend guy. He's the guy that played Victor Frankenstein and Penny Dreadful. I forgot his name. Mm-hmm. Something Harry Towns. I don't know. Google it. But yeah, I think it's just everyone else does really well, and it, you just look like a sore thumb. Because I think like Egerton also could have been replaced by anybody because he just didn't have that presence. Um, but yeah, like Charlie Theron, Oyo Lowell, just great stuff, really, really fun stuff. And yeah, I mean, it, it's interesting that the, um, the Egerton brothers are working on it. I think that's probably why Joe Egerton's even in this film. It's because his brother's directing it. Okay. So there's that. And yeah, so, it, so on Wikipedia, this is a crime comedy. There are pretty laugh out loud moments, but don't expect like a full on comedy. This yeah. is more of a situational comedy. It takes time to you build brew up, and to build, build up, up. Yeah. And, and it and it like you know the the punchlines are great. Like it's worth your wait. Mm-hmm. Like there's no like oh that was dumb, but yeah yeah overall um, I mean but you will laugh because it's a movie. Yeah, just you don't take laugh it too seriously because it's funny. You will laugh because you know it's a movie. Yeah, you know it's like setting things up and it's like the Beatles, the Beatles or yeah. whatever. Pretty good. Go, go watch it and uh, this is it for the before and after for gringos later